Oh fuck, I left it on by accident. I was getting a cookie. I mean, yo, what's up, guys? I fucking think, I think this is a story time. That's what I'm gonna go for. I don't know how to do a story time. Um, someone, someone said to make a fucking story time. And I'm listening to y'all because you're the ones watching it, right? So, like, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys about the time. I was on the fucking subway, and I witnessed some guy beating the shit out of somebody with a fucking trombone, alright? So, I live in Staten Island. As you know, fucking famous birthdays exposed me, right? It's, it's pretty close to the fucking city, like Manhattan. So... I go to Ranger games a lot. I'm a big fucking hockey fan. I love Rangers. I fucking, I go to the games all the time. Whatever. One day, maybe fucking year and a half ago, I'm like, yo, I called all my friends. I was like, yo, you trying to go to this Ranger game? Whatever. I got extra tickets. They were like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> How could I say no to free tickets? Like, I understand it because I wouldn't say no either. Fuck. So we get all this shit together. I get the fucking tickets on my email. I have them ready. I'm fucking sending them to my friends so they have them. So I was like, yo, how are we gonna get there? My friend was like, yo, I'll drive us all to the train, but we'll take the ferry and then we'll take the subway to fucking Madison Square Garden. I was like, that's a lot of fucking work, but whatever, we'll do that. All right. My friend picks us all up, drives us to the train, we take the train to the ferry, get on the ferry, everything's fucking smooth, get to the fucking city, bro. And then we walk down the stairs, outside the ferry, go into the subway. And if you've never been into a fucking subway, bro, like the, the fucking where you're waiting for the train, that shit is hot as shit. Bro, it feels like fucking Satan's ass in that fucking room. Like, you, I feel like I'm in hell in that fu waiting for that train. Finally, yo, the, tr the fucking subway comes. We get on the subway. There's nobody on it. There's nobody on the subway. And I'm like, bet, this is fucking beautiful. This is beautiful. But, like, I didn't know why there was nobody on it, because usually they fucking pack this shit. But I was like, whatever, I'll vibe with it. As we get on more stops, yo, the, as we keep stopping at different places, so many fucking people come on. Like, I can't even breathe at some point. So we get to this one stop, right? And if you're from New York, you know about the fucking crackheads, right? This guy walks on the fucking subway with a big-ass fucking case. And I'm like, oh, he's got a fucking assault rifle in there. We're dead. I'm, I'm giving my boys high fives. I'm like, yo, it was a good time. I'm trying to just go watch this Ranger game, go home, eat some fucking pasta, and go to sleep. Like, I'm not trying to die today, all right? This guy puts the fucking case on the ground, opens it up. Pulls out a fucking trombone, okay? I'm like, I'm, first of all, I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know this was band class. I thought this was a subway cart, right? But no, this motherfucker puts this thing together, and all of a sudden he yells out, LK, everybody! This is my performance. I hope you enjoy. And first of all, this guy was like fucking six foot four and fucking brolic with a voice like that. I said, yo, you gotta be on something, my guy, like, cause that's, that's not normal, right? He starts playing his fucking trombone, and when I tell you it was the worst fucking thing I ever heard, I felt like Spongebob in fucking Bikini Bottom listening to Squidward play his goddamn clarinet. Because this motherfucker was going, uh, eh, uh, eh. I was like, yo, that's not, that's not how you do it. Like, I don't know how to play a trombone, but I fucking think I could do better than that, right? So he was playing it for like five minutes maybe, and then all of a sudden this guy stands up. He goes, yo, can you shut the fuck up with that trombone? And I was like, oh, here we go. I, I was like, I already know what's going to happen here. I'm just sitting now. I, I got my headphones in. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing. I, I have no part in this. If someone dies right now, it's not my fault. Like, if, so the guy goes, yo, shut up with that trombone. And then the guy with the trombone, he goes, listen, this is just a performance. If you don't like it, close your ears. And I'm sitting there like, how the fuck do you close your ears? I don't think that was possible. Like, that's like, what are you going to do? Fuck, whatever. And then the guy sitting down and goes, yo, I told you once and I'll tell you again. Stop with that trombone or we're going to have a problem. And then the guy with the trombone, he goes, where's the problem? I want it. I'm like, Whoa. and I'm sitting there like, I'm big. I'm like, yo, I don't know how this is going to work out, but you're a crackhead. You have crackhead energy. This guy's pissed. He has mean New Yorker energy. I don't know what's going to happen. Right? But I had my Snapchat out. I was recording. I was waiting for this fight. A fucking subway fight is better than the UFC main card. I'm telling you right now, especially when it's between a crackhead and a fucking somebody else. Woo! I can't wait to see this. So they're standing this close to each other. And he's like, yo, stop with the trombone. I'm not going to tell you again. And then the guy goes, fuck you, okay? I'll play my trombone whether I like it or not. I'm just sitting there like, oh my fucking God, these people. Like, what? Like, oh my God, this is something bad waiting to happen. And as a matter of fact, I was right, okay? He was like, yo, we're going to have a problem. Put the fucking trombone back. We're going to have a problem. He's like, no, I'm not putting it back. Do something about it. And I was like, oh boy, oh boy. So the guy pushes the crackhead with the trombone into the fucking door. The crackhead goes, oh! And I was like, really, bro, that was so fake, so dramatic. 
You look like Miami Heat in 2013 doing that fucking flop. And then the crackhead pushes him back. They, they're pushing each other for about five minutes. I was like, yo, fucking throw some hands already. Like, this is bullshit. What did I pay for? And then all of a sudden, the guy guts like this and cracks the guy with the trombone. He just cracks him. Like, with a, with a one time. Boom. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, yo, poor guy. All he's trying to do is play his trombone and you're knocking him the fuck out. Right? And then all of a sudden, this guy picks up his trombone off the floor, takes out the fucking slide thing or whatever it is, and starts hitting this guy, like beating this motherfucker with the trombone slide. And I'm like, yo, what are you? I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, this is dangerous. Like he's, I'm like, yo, that's fucking brass. He's hitting him with that shit. I'm like, yo, that shit must fucking hurt. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, oh boy. This guy's fucking bleeding. Finally, the fucking subway stops. I guess someone must have called the fucking police. And like they, they were waiting for the guy at the fucking at one of the stop the next stop. The doors open. The cops grab these two guys, put them on the fucking like take them out of the train. The, the crackhead's like, he assaulted me. I was just trying to play my fucking trombone. He assaulted me. And the, the other guy's like, oh that's bullshit. That's bullshit. He hit me with his fucking thing. But I'm sitting there cracking the fuck up. I'm crying. Like this shit is so funny to me. Like I, I couldn't even contain myself. Like the lady next to me, she's like staring at me, and I'm like. I'm just, like, the lady next to me is looking at me like, are you okay? Like, are you good right now? And I'm like, yeah, lady, I'm fine. I'm just, I find this shit fucking way too funny. So then, yeah, bro, the fucking, the, the doors close. We go to the Ranger game. I have a good night. Bro, I'm thinking about this all day. I'm fucking crying. Every time I think about this situation, I just start dying, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I start laughing my ass off. They won the fucking game, so that was even better, okay? And it was just a funny-ass day. Like, I would I would do anything to be back on that train to watch that again because I would not stop laughing for nobody, all right? So, yeah, that's basically the story. I didn't do, like, a big story this time because it's my first story time, but that was just, like, a little story I wanted to tell because I love telling that story. It's fucking hilarious. If you want more story times, comment down below. Tell me, yo, I want more story times. This shit was funny. If you didn't like it, tell me. I want you to be honest with me, yo, because I won't make them. Also, comment down below, like I said in my last video, tell me other videos to make. I'll make vlogs or something, maybe more Q&As, more story times. I'll do that. So yeah, just let me know. I gotta go edit this video. I don't know when I'm gonna fucking post it, but when I do, you'll see it, obviously. <whistles> Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, fucking Snapchat. It's all tragic, it's all the same. Yeah, bro, I'll see you guys in the next video.